Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. As you can see behind me, with this massive T-Rex, I'm about to go see a dinosaur exhibit at the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry, also known as OMSI. We'll see what they have to display in this exhibit, learn a little bit more about dinosaurs. Die, die, dinosaurs. Best Jeff Goldblum impersonation I could do. And uh, yeah, go from there. Let's go inside. And here's the uh, initial preview of what we'll see. You got the T-Rex right here, staring right at me. And you got the little T-Rex, also staring right at me. Look at those teeth, not to mess with. Okay, let's actually head inside and see what they have in this exhibit. Tyrannosaurus, meet the family. All right. Well, it begins with a giant Tyrannosaurus head. That makes sense. Nice little picture spot. Pretty large head. Don't worry, that sound is not a dinosaur. Here's a human for scale. Pretty scary. Would not want to run into this guy. That would bite. Ugh, bad joke. All right, and they have a dinosaur display right next to this giant T-Rex head. This is a life-size reconstruction of an adult Gualong Wakai. It's hard to say, but uh, yeah, uh, it means crowned dragon, a name referring to its head crest. Yeah, that makes sense. There you go. The head crest there, and it's interesting. It's a feathered dinosaur, which I know that's like the theory is a lot of them were feathered after all. So, this one is displaying that. Again, this is such a weird thing to think it was on the Earth, but it was. Millions of years ago. Yeah, and uh, there it is compared to a human. Uh, this was discovered in China, apparently. So this is a member of the Tyrannosaurus Rex family. Um, one of many. Just like they promised they'd they show us. So it's a little family reunion here. Feathers and all. Alright, let's move on. Okay, so walking through this section, they actually have two screens with dinosaurs walking through Portland, Oregon. Not something, again, you'd want to actually see. But they'll just, they'll change the display on which dinosaurs are walking through and day or night. surrounded by them okay and then into this uh, first room they have some fossils on display this is the Lythronax Argestes uh, T-Rex sibling uh, 80 million years of age and yeah so this is not as big as a T-Rex but still very large Still not something you'd want to run into. There's that little one behind it that seems much safer but still terrifying. And if we look over here, here's the giant T-Rex we all know and fear. It is huge. We'll go back to that. But yeah, here's a couple other fossils on display. And then this, let's look how small this is compared to the one we were just looking at. And then there's of course the the known T-Rex. But even this one, you know, if you found this Dilong Paradaxis in your backyard, let's say, it'd still be terrifying. First Tyrannosaur found preserved with feathers. Oh, this is like what it would have looked like. And again, just probably not something you'd actually want to run into. There it is compared to an average human. so small when it's just bones but still terrifying okay then walking through here is you see the uh, giant t-rex with its shadow growling some people for scale you can see how big it is compared to humans over here yeah this is 
definitely a giant dinosaur with huge teeth. And here's more information about the T-Rex. You can see its size compared to the average human. It lived in Western North America, oh, right where we are. This one was discovered in Saskatchewan, Canada. Here's what the T-Rex is estimated or, or presumed to have looked like. Very giant with, of course, the tiny arms and hands. There it is. He is as his dislike is its jokes about its tiny arms. Well, I didn't make a joke. I just made an observation. It likes being king. This one is called Scotty. Uh, it's uh, one of the world's largest living land predators. Over 30 years of age when he died. It is one of the oldest individual T-Rex discovered to date. Huh, very interesting. So yeah, Scotty. Scotty the dinosaur. Happy 30th, Scotty. Here's what the T-Rex heart would look like. So even though they were fierce creatures, they had a big heart. Hand for scale. Please let me know in the comments if you like that joke. Oh, look, they even put not a heartless monster. See, they went along with it too. Uh, so this is just an estimate of what a T-Rex heart would have looked like. Large, unsurprisingly. Some more fossils here. Here's some of the teeth up close and personal. Very large teeth. Not something, again, you'd want to uh, encounter. Luckily, we don't have to, other than in museums. And then here's a hand claw of a T-Rex and a partial tooth. Everything a T-Rex had was sharp, except for its brain. Well, maybe. The brain looks small compared to this creature, but this is a fossilized... Sorry, this is a brain cast. So it's similar to many modern reptiles in terms of size. And that's what it would have looked like. And there's more T-Rex uh, cousins, relatives in this section. So yeah, the Daspletosaurus tortorosus. Ooh, this is hard to say. There it is compared to a human again, not something you'd want to run into, just in general. Uh, it was the king predator of its time, 10 million years older and a bit smaller than the T-Rex. Uh, this one might have been, died after being attacked by another Tyrannosaur, possibly even a Daspolatosaurus. Well, it's hard to say, again. Uh, a tooth was found embedded in the right hip, and part of the hip appears to be chomped out. People people. Dinosaurs back then uh, didn't mess around. Oh, there it is. Still very large. Look at it compared to humans. Uh, these things are so freaky. Cousins of the T-Rex. With these feathers. This looks absolutely terrifying. I'm not a fan of either of these. The chicken is okay. That, that cousin is, is okay. It's funny to think that's a cousin of a T-Rex. Chickens. But, uh, and, you know, they compare it to birds as well. But the other cousins here, not, not so great. And they have some various T-Rex skulls on this wall here. Key thing you notice with all of these are the incredibly sharp teeth. It's the main thing I see, at least. Yeah, these were uh, scary creatures. Here they are again, up close. Some teeth, fossilized teeth and claws up close. Uh, not good. And then, uh, this is great, they actually have uh, fossilized eggs. A couple of the different types of eggs you would have seen. These were discovered in China. Um, kind of the traditional Tyrannosaurus eggs, and then these, uh, I believe, were for, from another type of Tyrannosaur. I didn't get the whole thing, but anyway. Uh, then you have the range of all of the creatures that appeared over 
millions and millions of years. From the lineup from amphibians to mammals to the dinosaurs. And then uh, first humans. This is a real concise timeline of millions and millions of years. And then here we are to the present. Okay, and then this was interesting. This was actually fossilized poop. Dino dung, like Jurassic Park says. There's a uh, claw embedded in this one, or tooth. I think it's a tooth. So yeah, there's a lot of interesting things found in the dino dung. And I feel like I can't just end with dino dung. So let's segue back to the outside with the Tyrannosaurus. Just so there's that segue. All right, well, that was a pretty interesting exhibit. A lot of T-Rex related uh, things that they had there, unsurprisingly. It is the Beat the Family of the Tyrannosaurus Rex exhibit after all. But anyway, hopefully you found this video interesting. Learned some things about dinosaurs. I sure did, that I didn't know. Uh, no bones about it. Okay, sorry, last bad pun probably a lie. Future videos will be more. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I have more content like this going out and about. Podcast style videos with friends, a little more in-depth conversations, fun videos with other people. Please also check out my comedy channel. Uh, link below. Look at that. You can see a tiny human compared to the T-Rex. Size for scale. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.